All right, Cancer, this is your horoscope of the week of the 27th through the 3rd of December. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on for you this week. All right, so feeling a lot of emotions right off the bat. There's a lot of emotions I see, you know, compassion, love, even concerns, like every emotion. Just think it's going to be times two. It's going to be really amplified right now. And that's going to be around, you know, people, uh, mainly women in your life, all that emotion, connection, even if you're a man, you're going to find yourself more connected to women. At this point, people, women are going to understand you a little bit more or very compassionate men will understand you a little bit more when it comes to the things going on in your life and the way that you're feeling. And it really is, I mean, you hear a ton of emotion and we think immediately it's going to go to a negative thing. I don't feel like this is going to go negative. Actually, I feel like the, the love and compassion you're showing to everybody else, make sure you're sharing a little bit of that with yourself. But I definitely feel like your your circumstances are, are going to be good. It's going to be met with love, respect, and the way that you uh, want to be treated goes out to everyone else. So very positive energy, but I definitely want you to know that you're going to be very sensitive. So you're going to feel all that, that emotional uh, impact on you, which will make you a little bit sensitive, but nothing, nothing indicating that it's going to be negative. Now, I'm not saying that someone can't make it that way, but also when you're feeling all these emotions, I want you to trust them because you're also going to feel who is, who's trustworthy and who's untrustworthy. So watch for those signals because they're going to be out there. When it comes to the work situation, I definitely feel as though there can be at least one person I'm seeing causing problems with everybody. Try to ignore that person or maybe try to understand where this person's coming from. You're capable of sending out that love and compassion, making them feel like they're a part of the team. If you can find a way to give that kind of control so that way they don't freak out and kind of keep bothering everybody else, you do it without being judged. Uh, judgmental. But if you feel that person is un untrustworthy, then take a step back. Remember to keep an eye out for those signals. Um, the best way to handle your situation is consider their feelings. Allow yourself to listen to them, hear them out, and to be able to give them just a little bit of information that is uh, working for you. Now, if you're out there looking for a job, you're going to land it. The way that you're projecting your energy currently is so loving, so caring, and so respectful that any employer is going to see that and just love it absolutely to pieces. All right. So let's take a look at love. So when it comes to love, I definitely feel like there are um, deeper, truer feelings coming up, things that um, you have, you express, but you're doing so you're doing it a little bit extra and it, and it's feeling really good and it's feeling really balanced and it just makes the other person just feel over the, over the moon. So your love is definitely spewing out. If you are single looking for love, people are going to see that romantic side of you. They're going to see the person that you truly are. They're going to see that beautiful person deep within and not, not by being pushy, not by, you know, having to do anything other than being yourself, which is absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for love, you're definitely going to be noticed and you're definitely going to find it. All right. When it comes to finances for you, I, I do feel like being aggressive. You've been a little bit aggressive with your finances and overly cautious. Um, I'm not saying to take that caution away. Make sure you're trusting your instinct when it comes to that. But you are doing better money-wise now than you have been. And so allow yourself to be a little bit uh, creative with your money, but not too resistant. Like, I can't do anything. Um, I don't recommend going out gambling or going to get a, get a loan that you can't afford. But what I'm saying for yourself is allow yourself to trust and what you've got, know that more money is coming your way and you're going to be able to control your own behavior when it comes to your money, okay? So you're not alone in that. You're gonna be able to get this through. And if you find a way to invest your money, like I said, do it cautiously, get more information, talk to a you know financial advisor. That's definitely gonna help you. All right, spiritually, I feel as though that you've been um, growing spiritually very quickly so things have been changing and you're feeling your your it almost feels like i i there's a you can feel your growth 
That's the thing. That's the best way to say it. It's like, you can feel your growth. There's one thing of knowing that you're growing, but when you can feel your growth, you need to make sure that just because you're feeling it and you're finding that balance that you don't lose touch with your spiritual side, it is definitely proactive. It's doing you some justice and better things are along the way when it comes to that. All right, Cancers, with that, that is the uh, that is all the information I have for you this week. Make sure you tune in next week with more information with Cancer. Oh,